Hey guys, I'm here today with Tom and Eddie, who are my partner Maddie's brothers, uh, younger brothers, obviously, they're quite little. Um, I'm going to ask them today about what they know about the transgender community. Do you guys know what LGBT stands for? No, I have no idea. No idea at all? No, not at all. Not even any of the letters? No, no like letters. Yeah, LGBT. Yeah. Well, no, I don't know, well I know the letters. G is gay. Yep. Yeah. And T is transgender. I think. It's L uh, lesbian. Yep. Okay. So um, you just need the B. Okay. It stands for bisexual, okay. which is where someone likes both genders. Oh, okay. So you like a man and you like a woman. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now you know what the LGBT means. Yep. Do you know anybody that's a part of it? It's coming Anyone else? Um. Well, other than me. Other than me. Mother? There we go. Okay. okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, that's about it. Three. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so what do you think transgender means? Right, um, does it mean when you are in a, you say you're a girl or a boy and you don't feel like you're in the right body so you want to change yeah, gender? gender? Yeah. That's a good yeah, answer. That's, what, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. You don't think you're the right gender? Yeah. So like, yeah. So like if you're a girl, and you don't think you want to like you don't think you're supposed to be a girl. You think you're like you're supposed to be a boy, so then you like you like act like a boy, dress like a boy, and stuff like that. Oh, if you, if you're a girl and you want to become a boy, you can. If people are just saying no, don't do it, don't do it, but it's your opinion, so you can do it. You do. That's a fair point. So when did you guys first hear the term transgender? Oh, when I was about eight. Yeah. I heard it quite young, actually. Do you remember where because you heard it or why you heard it? Oh, well, I heard it. I heard it, but then I did, I can't. Remember, I didn't know I've what it meant it then. Before, but I've heard it before that. Yeah. I think Manny told me maybe. Well, like sort of like eightish, sort of years old. Okay. So at that time, did you know what it meant then? No. 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 Okay. So can you remember the first time you ever met a transgender person? When I met you. Am I the first person? Yeah, you're the first person. Yup. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So, do you think that you can tell that someone's transgender then? Um, no, I don't think you could because you, you, because it, you wouldn't just go up to someone and say, are you transgender? You wouldn't go around the whole world to like 10 billion people's house and say, are you so transgender? So you're saying you, you wouldn't be able to tell Yeah, you probably wouldn't happen. be able to I tell. If, I if, think if, if a woman had not short hair, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. You never know. Okay. Yeah, put a lot of, if you put a lot of effort into it, then yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Do you think that there are people that are your age that are transgender? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Do you think, think there's there. anybody in your no. school that might be? Well, I haven't. No, I don't know anybody in my school yet who yeah. is transgender. But you would. But there's this girl in my school that like has like boyish hairstyles. Yeah. And stuff. But I don't think they like really know what gender they're supposed to be at that sort of time, so. Okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you'd be transgender at my age. On news round, um, they were talking about how there was this nine year old girl who wanted to become um, a boy, uh, but um, everybody was like saying to her that like, you shouldn't make her a boy, because, and they said it was wrong with that age, but it wasn't. And apparently they were talking a bit about hormones. Do you know why they said it was wrong? Uh, no, I don't know what they said no, it was wrong. That's yeah. fair enough, so they asked him. So, do you think there are anybody at all that's in the LGBT community as a whole at your school? So do you reckon there's any lesbians or gay people or bisexual people? I don't know. No. I, I was going to ask someone, are you... No, no, I was just wondering if anybody's ever told you anything or... No. Nope. Have you no. ever experienced anybody saying rude things about the LGBT community? Well, yeah, I said to my friend once, do you like... Um, gay people yeah and he said no so then we're not friends anymore do you think that transgender people can fit into society with other people yeah yeah because yeah if they're, if they're a girl and then let's say they turn into a boy they'll still be a part of it because they'll still be a human it's not like they're becoming into like an like an animal like a bird when maddie first told you that i was transgender what was the very first thought that went through your head 
Um, is she is she gonna or is, is is her voice gonna get lower? Is is she still gonna like these games or uh, is she gonna like pizza or something? I would be I would be wondering what you would look like and stuff. Yeah. Because I wouldn't know like how they would like change in that. Yeah. To be fair, you look exactly the same. Plus, you had a cat. Cyber. But you still. Yeah. <laughs> so do you see me as a guy now, even though you first knew me as a girl? Yeah. 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 And are you guys okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. As you've you've touched on, you know that I've got to go on hormones and have surgeries and stuff like that. Yeah. But do you think I actually have to do that to be a man? To literally be a man, then you would. But like, if you just wanted people to know you're a man, you wouldn't necessarily have to go through that. What you sort of surgery? If yeah. you didn't want to have the surgery, you could just have the injections and that's it. Really? Yeah. Well, you'd still be part of a boy. But a bit of your body still would think you're not fully a boy yet. But so do you not think that if, if I didn't have surgeries, I would fully be a man? Well, you, I think you're a man now. Okay, so... Are there any questions that you guys want to ask me? Anything at all? Oh, I knew you when, you're, I knew. when you're going um, off surgery, do you know when you have like all your things, like some like every boobs cough sometimes, and it's, do you get depression because you feel like you say you're going to sleep and then you did that you might feel a bit of your body's gone yeah. yeah so you ask him do i think that i'd miss it yeah probably like yeah. depression well if you made the choice I think, then i don't yeah. think yeah i think i think at first like, it would be really really it. weird because get used to yeah because there's going to be something missing from my body that i've had on my body for a very long time but I don't think I get depressed over it because it's something that will make me happy. Exactly. 21 years. <laughs> Such a long time. Do you think that they should teach more about uh, LGBT in primary? They're starting to introduce it in sort of sex education yeah. classes when from the age of like sort of seven. But do you think more needs to be taught, especially about transgender? Yeah, yeah probably. Because then if you act, if you went up to somebody and you thought they were a man and you said, um, like, if you said, like, um... Are you a woman or something? That would be pretty offensive. Yeah. Because like you might think that because if they're not teaching you anything about it, you might, you might think they're like a boy. So you think they should teach you how to yeah. approach these situations yeah. Yeah. correctly without hurting anybody? Yeah. Because yeah. like they might be friends for like the next I don't know eleven years and might know if you're a boy or a girl. Yeah. If they're not teaching them anything at school or if they're about transgender. transgender. Because you know, like what happened to mum, it was like a yeah. really hard like sort of time, and then like to hear people like using like like gay as a like an offence and stuff and considering you're gay mm. it was like it just felt really like is there any need for that <laughs> so i just got like and this was happening like constantly over weeks that's why like it just, had to, it just came up <laughs> i just had to had to do, do something it. have you guys heard any rude words in terms yeah. of transgender so when, when some well i haven't heard transgender but i've heard about or gay. like trannies or oh yeah that, so that, that is used stuff, a lot yeah that's an offensive word for transgender. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, basically. Yeah, I've heard that quite a lot. Does it upset you when you hear it? Well, yeah, I do not really think yeah. about it. I, I don't think about it that much. I just usually like walk away. Yeah. Because like, yeah. As well, soon as we met you, track record. then I came yeah. up because I didn't even know before it like gets to that point. Where <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. It gets made offensive. Like, do you know um, <laughs> Every time I hear um, hear someone on my school go gay or lesbian, I was got to them say, "Why are you saying that?" <laughs> what? Oh, why? Why do you think people do use it as an insult? Why do you think that ever started happening? Because no one really knew what it was. They just like. Because <laughs> it was different. Yeah. They never like yeah. They never been taught that much. Yeah, but what's wrong with like, being young, different? Like, yeah. wearing it because if somebody said, "Oh, I don't like that video," or, like try it, try it, try it. Then what they're doing? They're, like telling me kids like we should be nice to them. That like most people in the world are like. Yeah, he's like, mean. Do you think that it's something that someone chooses when they turn a certain age, or do you think this is a thing from birth with transgender and gay and lesbian? Is it from birth, and then they just realise it later on, or is it something that just happens? I, I think, think just can't. I think it could be well it's different for some people because it could just be when you're born you're like I don't know if like with six years old I'm like saying oh I don't live in school. Do, do you think it's a choice? It's yeah a choice, probably. Yeah. Choice when you're six or when you're like you you wouldn't know 21. when you're that young. Or do you just think that you won't remember that you knew when you were that young? You might know when you're young because you still know that you want to be right. this yeah. gender. Like kids, like five, they're still smart because they know that they want to be that gender. Yeah. They don't want, like they might not know what 
well, no, seven billion times mm. twenty-three is. <laughs> but then they'll know they'll know what like what gender they want to be at yeah. the same time because they've still got they've got their feelings and memory. Yeah. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Thanks Bye. for watching, guys. Thanks See for watching. you later. Bye. Bye.